Hello, Dr. Joe here. Now, in the next six minutes, I'm going to explain to you the link between diabetes and cardiovascular disease, as well as the link between diabetes and lifespan. Does diabetes shorten your lifespan, especially if you are over the age of 40? That's coming up. If it does shorten your lifespan, by how much? Let's jump right in. And we are going to look at uh, the link between diabetes and shortened life expectancy through the lens of this very study here that was published in JAMA Internal Medicine Journal with the title Associations of Diabetes Mellitus with Total Life Expectancy and Life Expectancy with and Without Cardiovascular Disease. Uh, so uh, let's explore the findings from this very study. Uh, we're not going to go into details of the uh, study, but uh, we're just going to explore the findings. And the first one was that people with diabetes are significantly more likely to develop cardiovascular disease. So if you've got diabetes, then your risk of developing cardiovascular disease was a lot higher compared to somebody who is not diabetic. Now, here's the other thing. Uh, you know, the risk of developing cardiovascular disease was 2.5 times higher for women and 2.4 times higher for men uh, with diabetes compared to uh, people who were not diabetic. So one more finding was that individuals with diabetes who already had cardiovascular disease are at a greater risk of dying from it. So the combination of diabetes and cardiovascular disease does indeed shorten your lifespan. Okay, that is what this finding is saying. That is what this research is saying. And uh, to put things more in perspective, they also found that diabetic men lived an average of 7.5 years less, while diabetic women lived 8.2 years less than their non-diabetic counterparts. So uh, if you were diabetic, uh, your lifespan was uh, shortened if, uh, if it was poorly managed. And a lot of people who are diabetic have poorly managed disease. So what is the link? Let's explore the link between diabetes, uh, cardiovascular disease, and a shortened lifespan. And they have tried to simplify it for you folks. Diabetes is tied to the blood because if you've got diabetes, then of course you've got plenty of sugar circulating in the blood. And of course, your heart is the central pump that pushes blood out to the rest of your organs and tissues and uh, using the blood vessels as channels for distribution. So we have a situation here where we've got plenty of sugar circulating in the blood. And that same blood with plenty of sugar is being pumped out uh, from the heart to the rest of the body uh, via the blood vessels as channels. And the effect of diabetes on the heart and blood vessels is a negative one. This is the thing to note, okay? How does this happen? Well, we're going to look at that. How does diabetes make you develop heart disease and reduce your lifespan? Let's have uh, a look at that because there are three mechanisms to uh, uh, look at. The first one is the cholesterol effect, okay? The cholesterol effect. So when you have lots of sugar in the circulation and the sugar has nowhere to go because it's stuck, okay? All the cells are blocked off, uh, which is what we call insulin resistance. Well, the liver is going to say, well, what do I do with all of this sugar that is circulating? Uh, in the end, the liver is going to make cholesterol from the sugar that is circulating, the excess sugar that is circulating. And of course, you end up with raised LDL cholesterol levels. And raised LDL cholesterol levels will predispose you to developing plaques in your arteries. Okay, So uh, we have a situation here where the heart arteries are going to be damaged by the plaque buildup. And then, of course, that leads to heart attacks. This is one of the mechanisms through which diabetes shortens your lifespan. Because uh, if the vessels are getting damaged, that, of course, will include the heart arteries. The heart arteries are called coronary arteries. They're also going to be involved in a plaque buildup. And then once the coronary arteries have plaque buildup, that's going to lead to heart attacks. So that is mechanism number one. 
Mechanism number two is sustained high blood sugar effect. Okay, the sustained high blood sugar effect. Of course, diabetes is a disease where you have lots of sugar circulating in the blood. And then when you have lots of blood sugar uh, circulating, that's going to damage the blood vessels because sugar is inflammatory to the walls of the vessels. Uh, if the vessels are inflamed, then, uh, of course, that's going to include the hard blood vessels as well. The coronary vessels are going to be inflamed. The, the walls, what we call the endothelium, gets inflamed. And then, of course, that leads to plaque buildup. And uh, that is essentially heart disease. Okay, Damaged blood vessels predisposes to heart disease and then uh, heart attacks. Okay, So that is mechanism number two. Of course, when you have heart attacks, that's going to shorten your lifespan. So that is mechanism number two. Let's move on to mechanism number three, and that has to do with the high blood pressure effect. People with diabetes tend to have high blood pressure. Uh, the link is insulin resistance. So when your blood pressure is high, what tends to happen is that the blood is going to flow a lot harder, and uh, the constant wear and tear is going to damage the blood vessels. And when the blood vessels are damaged, what happens? Then you're going to have plaque formation, just like we did before in mechanism number two and mechanism number one. So that is one sub-mechanism. The second sub-mechanism is that when uh, you've got high blood pressure, that means your heart has to work harder to push out the blood uh, into the circulation. And a heart that is working so hard every day, night and day, uh, to push out his blood against a lot of resistance, yeah, then, of course, it's going to lead to thickening of the walls of the heart. Because any muscle that works a lot harder is going to get enlarged. And that, of course, includes the heart muscle. So, eventually, that's going to lead to heart enlargement. And when the heart is enlarged, it's not going to function efficiently. That leads to heart failure. And uh, heart failure, of course, uh, people tend to succumb to it. So that's another mechanism through which diabetes shortens your lifespan. Okay, what is clear is that diabetes does predispose you to developing cardiovascular disease. It was also clear from this uh, very piece of research is that diabetes also shortens your lifespan. Okay, there are no two ways about it. Diabetes does shorten your lifespan. And the mechanisms I have just described to you uh, in the previous slides. But here is the thing. You do not have to live with diabetes. And because you can reverse it, okay? You can reverse it. And by the way, I'm referring to type 2 diabetes. I'm not referring to type 1 because with type 1, uh, you just have to live with type 1 because you are completely reliant on insulin if you've got type 1 diabetes. That is irreversible. But for type 2, well, that is reversible. And I have taken the pains and uh, spent the whole of the summer of 2023 doing videos on how to reverse your type 2 diabetes. It's an eight-part series. The videos are there for you to uh, take advantage of, okay? The videos are there for you. It's all free. I've not charged you a penny for uh, any of the videos. Ordinarily, I should charge. I should put them uh, behind a paywall and charge for it. But no, I haven't done that. They're all there, free for you to take advantage of. So please go ahead and explore the videos because it's the only true way of reversing insulin resistance. It's not about, uh, you know, the other methods where they try to sidestep the issue or suppress the issue. No, this is about truly reversing your insulin resistance. And that is my approved method. So please go ahead, take advantage of uh, the presence of the videos on my very channel here. So uh, anyway, hopefully you got some value from this very video. The, the point here is that you can reverse your type 2 diabetes. You don't have to live with it for the rest of your life, okay? 
Anyway, hopefully you got some value from this very video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Please like the video and also please share this video with your friends, with your family, with your colleagues. If you have got any questions, any comments regarding the content of this video presentation, go ahead, leave your comments or questions down below. I think that's about it for this very video. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.